End-stage kidney failure patients might not need to go under the knife for an access to help them get that much-needed dialysis. A new non-surgical procedure pioneered by SGH creates the access with just small needle punctures in the arm. Called endo-AVF, SGH plans to offer the treatment to hospitals here in a three-year pilot program. For more... And to explain it all to us, Associate Professor Chong Tzu Tech from the Department of Vascular Surgery at SGH joins us. Uh, Professor Chong, um, look, just explain to us. It sounds simple enough, but give us a clearer understanding of this new procedure, endo-AVF, if I'm saying that right, in your terms. Good evening, Jill and Otelli. Very glad to be here. The endo-AVF is a revolutionary new procedure non-surgical to create a connection between the artery and the vein. Utilizes just a needle puncture and a catheter to create this connection. This new technology utilizes duplex ultrasound or X-rays and the needle punctures are strategically placed, as you can see in the video, to allow for the catheter to be positioned so that energy can be delivered to create this permanent connection between the artery and the vein thereby allowing the blood to flow from the artery to the vein, creating the fistula to be used for dialysis access. Uh, help us understand, uh, Professor, as well, why is it that end-stage kidney failure patients in particular benefit from this? And, uh, you know, it sure sounds that it's less invasive, but in what way is this a breakthrough um, and a benefit for them? Surgical AV fistulas have been created since 1966. So it's been around for many decades. This is a new procedure utilizing this new technology. So it's less invasive. It allows quicker times to cannulation, thereby allowing kidney failures patients to undergo dialysis treatments, which are life-saving faster, may present less complications over the time and the lifetime of the procedure, uh, as well as perhaps reduce stress on the heart compared to a traditional AV fistula. So these are the sum of the advantages uh, when we consider this procedure. Right. So, so as you have uh, mentioned, also it's uh, not as painful. You recuperate faster. I suppose ultimately cheaper in the long run. But uh, are there any risks that potential patients need to consider before saying yes to this? Definitely, every procedure has risks and benefits, and we have to weigh that for every patient individually. The surgical fistula, because there's an incision, has a risk of bleeding and infection. And while the endo-AVF doesn't require an incision, it requires needle punctures. So those risks are also present, although they are smaller. So I think it's important to discuss with your physician whether or not this new procedure is right for you. There are also anatomic considerations whether or not your vein and artery are the appropriate size and whether or not they're close enough together to create this fistula in the endovascular fashion. Mm. So, um, in other words, you know, do we just assume that, you know, all end-stage kidney patients will be offered the endo-AVF uh, um, and, and clearly there must be some who are not suitable for this treatment? That's a great question. This is a new technology and most of the literature is from the West. We're trying to garner patient data in our local population. That's why we're piloting 200 patients. We're doing this at SGH, collaborating with Sengkang General Hospital, Changi General Hospital, and National University Hospital for this 200 patient study. The patients will be selected based on the ultrasound of the arteries and veins to determine if they're suitable before we recruit them for this procedure. Right, many thanks for uh, staying up this late, uh, joining us for this interview. Associate Professor Chong Zetek from the Department of Vascular Surgery at SGH.